that's where we're at. Uh, so that now. First John, chapter 2, verse 7. So we're going to do a quick uh, summary of where we're up to at the moment. So that all of us that are in the room can catch up. Uh, um, so this epistle of John um, is written by the Apostle John. Okay, so he was one of the twelve disciples. So, uh, and we're looking at the Johns at the back. Uh, so the um, So this is this is a book written by the Apostle John, and he's writing this uh, book uh, to the believers. And this is the believers uh, mainly around Asia Minor, mainly around Ephesians, uh, Ephesus, mainly around Asia Minor. So he's writing this book to the believers in the area of Asia Minor. This book is also written at the time of the first century church. So Kalatia, Colosse, Philippi, ah, na ye kalesia na iloa i tato, ah, ok, o e kalesia na sa ye i le ulu wa i e kalesia, o vai mea na o lota ua nei o Turkey, o la pa sa mo lea tunu lea Turkey? Yes, i vai mea na o a rapi, ah, so, Turkey, ah, Turkey, pa sa mo a Turkey, ok, so, um, so written by the Apostle John, <laughs> Uh, written by the Apostle John, uh, and the reason why the Apostle John is writing the book is in chapter 4, verse 1, he's writing to defend the gospel against false prophets. Chapter 2, verse 26, and chapter 3, verse 7, he's writing this book because there were those who were trying to deceive. So everyone knows that the meaning of that word, deceive? Uh, so the deception, or those people who try and take away from what is true. Uh, chapter 2, verse 18, he refers to the Antichrist. And that's as simple as those who are against Christ. So he's writing this book because there are false prophets, those who try to deceive, and the Antichrist. And in chapter 4, verse 1 to 7, that there was the work of the demonic power. So he was addressing all of these things that were happening at the church at the time. Le mafua ano le tusi, ina ia faa mautu wina le faa le faa tua tua o tangata tani tonu. Mta upu e faa pe kumwa mua o le mafua anga, ina ia faa mautu wina le faa tua tua o tangata tani tonu. Ona ina mta upu e faa pe kumwa mua o lo yai perfecta pipelo. Ina mta upu e lua fe kwe luas from leono ma mta upu e tolu fe kwe fitu o lo yai e o lo tau faa sese. So, Olona mafua anga ona olea ua tula imai a ua onga se se pero feta pepelo ane ti keriso olo oyai fo inga luenga fa ante moni. So all of these things uh, we see is the reason why Paul is writing this book. Amen. Amen. Hello? Amen. <coughs> Amen. So we get to the, the heart of the apostle. Ole 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 fatu ato ole apostolo de mafuai ona tu si ele tu si. It's all on apani vaino ole otato mata matai. Vaino mo mua. The heart of the apostle of writing this book was number one. It's found in chapter one verse four. Is that these things I write to you that your joy may be 
full. Mm. Ah. So, he's writing this letter so that the joy of the believers may be complete. Second reason why he's writing this letter is he, uh, he is wanting the believers to remain holy. Remember the book of Peter, it says, be holy because God is holy. So he's addressing not only their joy, he's also writing so that they remain holy. Holy, chapter 2, verse 1, it says, These things I write to you so that you may not sin. So he's addressing holiness. The third reason is found in chapter 5, verse 13. And the verse reads like this. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. The third reason, first reason, that their joy may be complete. Second reason, that they may be holy. Third reason is in regards to their eternity. Their eternal life is about their eternal life in Jesus Christ. So, atato tiro tiro, etoro baenga na po mafu anga na tu si ai, e yoane le tu si lea, mua mua, ina ya ato otole oli oli ole auso. Naimawen O iyo lo tala no ma yele apostolo i le ola e faa babao. Le mafu anga lo na tolu, mua mua tu maule oli oli, lua ina ia faa malo siya le ola faa pa ia ina. Tolu ina ia faa pea ona ta watu ya te ila tolu, le ola e faa babao. Fa upe suma tolu ina mta upe lima, ua ou tu siatu nei mea yate o tolu, o e faa tua tua ile suwapa o le alo o le atua, ina ia o tolu i lo ai, Amen. So those are some, some, some background. Ah, I just wanted to give you guys some context. The reason why he's writing this book is because there are false prophets, antichrists, deceivers, as well as demonic teachings. But the flip side to that, he's writing this book so that their joy may be complete. He's writing in regards to their holiness. And also reminding them that you have security. You have an eternal life yes, in Jesus Christ. So, tato toe te patasi anga e tua le tato mata upu. I le vai vai ina mai tango na tato a mata ina le awa onga. Mai le fai upu, mai le mata upu mua mua se yo o fai kwe fa. O le manatu mua mua. O se fe sili o lo o tuula i mai i le awa o ino le tu sili a yuani. I le tofo tofo ina po le sue sue i fo lava o oe yate oe. I lowo langa tali tonu, po lea tonu lava lo tali tonunga. So, the question that this particular book gives us as a believer is that John begins to give us these tests. Okay? And we can break these tests into two sections. The first section is a doctrinal test. The second test is a moral test. Okay? So, fa upu mua, mata upu mua mua Mai le fai upu mua mua e o o i le fai upu e fa O lo o iai se fe si li fa a pea A o le a lo ta o fi e winga ya Yesu Keriso The first test or the first question that we can give you as a believer Is that do you confess Jesus Christ? Remembering in chapter 1 verse 1 to 4 We learnt about who Jesus Christ was Who is the Jesus of the Bible? We learned that he was the word of life. We learned about his eternality. We learned that Jesus Christ was eternal life. So the doctrine of Jesus Christ, the teachings of who Jesus is, that the Bible teaches us. Ah, so when you share your faith, do you share the Jesus of the Bible? That's a question. Ah, what do I believe about this Jesus? And am I sharing the Jesus of Scripture? Or am I sharing a different Jesus? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So the first test is, 
Do you confess Jesus Christ? Peyo le topo to funga po le fesili po le su esu enga mua mua le tangata la vaya ya te ya. O le ana uta aufi ile ni esu ke viso le a olo ha oa wina ele tu si pa ia. Le a ana tato mata mata. Te le yo ke esu olo fa peone fa matala ele la lulangi. A o le ke esu le fa matala me yo ane mua mua o le loko o ia o le upu. Lua o ia e mai le vavau. Le fa me fa ipo e lua. Mato ba ayatu, mato te moli mau foi yai, ua mato ta ua tuai yate o to leola e faababau, o le na sa ile tama, a ua faalia mai ya te i mato. O le yesu o le tuspa ia, e mai le babau. O le yesu foi o le tuspa ia, o ia o le ala ile ola e faababau. So, o nai fesili na etu inatu ia te oele tana te kerisiano, Po ai tomu lava le Yesu le olo e tani tomu wa ia. Le lai au mai e Yohane i le mata upu mua mua, e upu mua mua lo e fa. The second test that he gives us is do you confess sin? And we found that in verses 5 of chapter 1, right through to the end of chapter 1, to chapter 2, through to verse 2. So not only as a believer do you confess Jesus Christ of the Bible, but number two, do you confess sin? How do we know? Now if I may, in verse 6, it tells us, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. And then in verse 1 of chapter 2, it says, I write to you so that you may not sin, and if anyone sins, we have an advocate before the Father. Remember when we learned about the advocate? The advocate is our representation before the judge who is the Holy Father himself. And he's writing this letter to believers. So therefore, as believers, there'll be sometimes we trip up. Oh, there'll be sometimes where we do fall into sin because we are weak in the flesh. Ah. Oh. In verse 9 it says, chapter 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive. So as believers, John is addressing not only as a believer, do you confess Jesus Christ? You can say, yep. Ah. Hopefully everyone says, yep. I, I believe in the Jesus of the Bible. But two, do you confess sin? And that's an area where a lot of believers say, well, no, I'm perfect. I'm, you know, I'm good. Fred, I'm, I'm doing good. But actually, the Bible says, for all has sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. My own and what? And my own there, in the Kesili Fatbeer, or the Allah Tao, Fi, Ilawa Masala. Now, if a man fight for a lua, or a mata for a lua, or if I put more and more on the top for a lua, be a fight for a Allah Sala Setasi. Oya te i tā tō le fautua i mūmā o le tamā. Fa mei le mata whaipua i bau le mata upu mua mua. Ai a whai tā tō te whaaali a tā tō o la sala. E whaa maoni o ia, maleani o tō mu. E whaa maa mano ai a tā tō o la sala. O le tamata whaatua tua, e te tau ona e i loa. O le alo o tā o fi i le mea tau o le a la sala. Na e le ai ma se tangata ami o tō mu i lalo o le se le whanga o le tua. And if I may not remember, I will not be able to do that. I will not be able to do that. I will not be able to do that. So as a believer, when you share Christ, you need to have an understanding of who Jesus is. Two, the second part of our teaching was that you need to have an understanding of what sin is. Right? Not that we live in sin, but that we have an understanding as a believer that I must confess my sin. That when I do, do wrong that I can come to the Lord and confess, because he is faithful to forgive. And then it says, if I do sin, I have an advocate. I have a representation before the Father. Who is it? Jesus Christ. So that's the second tier. So those are core doctrines. Be or mata upu fa availe na o le tangata kerisiano. O oe la le tangata kerisiano, e tatau ona e loa. A fei o yese va inga te leo mauti noa, Tēmine, ia mauti noa wā ina ia lua i loho o langa whaabae kerisiano. Ia e lōra mta upu ia Jesu keriso, ma ia e mana malama e mta upu e tau e whaatatau ile a masala. 
Because he's trying to address these things. Why? There is so much false teaching. There is the deceivers. There is the antichrist. Praise God. Okay. The third part that we looked at last week was we now began to look at a moral test. So doctrine, have strong doctrine, but then also moral. How do we live out our lives? And what we looked at last week was our keeping of the commands of God, our guarding of His Word. How were we being obedient to God's Word? And we learned last week in verse 3, now by this we know that we know Him if we keep His commands. Mm. Remember the definition of the word keep came from that word to guard. Mm. Something that is absolutely precious. We guard it with our lives because we think that, man, that, that is precious to me. And that's the definition that, Paul, that John was giving to the church. You need to keep His command. You guard his command. So the third question for you today, do you obey God's word? Yeah. Ah. What is your obedience to his word? We uh, read last week that there was a principle that's in regards to guarding his word. Verse 4, it spoke about that there was to, uh, as a believer, we needed to avoid the pretense. In verse 5, it talked about the perfected love of God. And in verse 6, Jesus Christ asked us to abide in Him. And He was the pattern. Ah. So um, those are some of the things that we looked at last week in regards to this third question. So question number one, do you confess Jesus Christ as a believer? Question number two, do you confess your sins? as a believer. Question number three, moral test. Do you obey his word? Because it says that if you don't, then you're a liar. You can't say you're a believer then. If, you, if we're saying no to any of these questions, then the question is, am I truly a believer? Amen? Amen. Am I a true believer? Which is a question that challenges us. Because then we come back to the word. But the third part, do you keep his commands? So there are three questions that we have so far. Do you confess Jesus Christ? Do you confess your sins? Do you obey God's word? Yeah. So Mm. 
Profeta Pepeno e o Yaya. No to tele yale. Out of us is say. Mafu Angle and I that are white on our sita eal at Yonga, but eal at two. Now, if you have any, we come to part four. So today is a four question. Ole paper fit to our sumatasi. It's another test. And the fourth test is do you love others? So, Ole 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 Vina, and to see what our room I enter to me, and I say, no, 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 Chapter 2, verse 7, and we're going to go through to verse 11. Uh, faithful Fetu, and I am faithful Sumatasi. I'm all for some water to face out. But I see here. And I will say, O today to see us, we are to those that follow in a bowl. Our follow in a swine. We are to those that we are to. just so that you don't forget your question. So if we've got some post-it notes, just share it out to the room. If you have a question, write your question, and if we have time at the end, we'll get some questions answered. Huh? And if not, then you can share when we have um, some food. Okay, we're going to look at verse 7. In verse 7 it reads like this. Brethren, I write no new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you heard from the beginning. Okay, so remember, we've already studied three of the tests. The first test, do you believe or do you confess Jesus Christ? The second test is what? Do you confess your sins? Third test is, do you obey God's word? In this fourth test, John is actually asking, well, what does your love for others look like? The Word of God is absolutely simple in its principles, but yet it's life transforming. Yeah. If you hear what I mean? Ah, it's simple in its principle, but it changes your life. Ah, that if we know this Jesus of the Bible, it changes my life. If I know that I am a sinner, it changes my life. If I obey His Word, it changes my life. And today, as if I love one another, if I love others, if I love the body of believers, it changes my life. Amen. Ah. So that's what we're going to get into today, because we now understand the reason why John is giving us these tests is because there is a world out there which he refers to as darkness. Mm. As part of the body... We are in the light of our God. Uh, but the world that we are in is full of darkness, mm. representing sin. Okay? So this is why we have to be strong. Mm. 
malama o oe o le tangata o lo malama lama o oe o le tangata masala e suwi a ilo o lama. O lo i lo foi mo si ta ia le upo le tua e ma fai o na suwi a ilo o lama. Ale ma bai na e fa le ya fi ne o le tato ba ai po a me lo o lo fai le si tangata. So verse seven it says, brethren, I write no new commandment to you. The word new there, um, in the Greek word um, to replace something, is the Greek word neos, uh, to replace something. That's what we commonly would understand as something new. If I want a new pair of shoes, I get a new pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. But the word that's being used here is the Greek word kainos. And kainos means that it's a new form or a new quality that refers something that would replace something that has been worn out okay so when the apostle john is writing here brethren i write no new commandment but an old commandment mm -hmm. what is the commandment the commandment we find there in verse uh, eight it says uh, in verse the rest of verse 7, it says, The old commandment is the word you've heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write to you, which thing is true in him, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. Mm. He who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. He who loves his brother abides in the light. So the, the commandment that he is referring to here, the one that he says, I write no new commandment is the commandment to love. Mm -hmm. ah, so that's what we're going to talk about today. So he's writing no new messages to the Jews. He's writing no new messages to the Israelites, the Jewish believers that are in Asia Minor at the time. It's, it's a common commandment to love. The Israelites knew what it meant to love. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, Verse 5, in their Old Testament, it says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. So the Jewish people knew that they had to love. This was a commandment that was common to their way of life and to their culture. So they knew they had to love. So when the, when the apostle says, I write no new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you have had from the beginning. Mm -hmm. When we look at Leviticus chapter 19, let us look at the old commandment. In verse 18, it reads this. Leviticus 19 verse 18. Leviticus Kuriba. So when the Israelites were given the commandments of the Lord, these are the commandments that John was writing to them about. And this is what it says in verse 18. You shall not take vengeance, nor bear any grudge against the children of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself, I am the Lord. So we see it in their commandments. We see it in their way of life. That they were told right from their forefathers to love your neighbor as yourself. Look at verse 34. It talks about the stranger. It reads like this. The stranger who dwells among you shall be to you as one born among you. And you shall love him as yourself. For you were strangers in the land of Egypt. 
I am the Lord your God. This is the commandment that John is saying. Brethren, I write no new commandment, but an old commandment which you have had from the beginning. To love your neighbor. Uh, to love one another. To love your neighbor as you love yourself. So this new command, this no new commandment that he's writing about is a commandment that existed in their laws was to love God, but also to love your neighbor. But John is writing it specifically to them as believers as one of the tests. He's also writing to us. What is our love like for one another? What is our love like for strangers? Do we show genuine love? If we look at Romans chapter 13, <clears throat> verse 9 and 10. Auntie Tina, do you have that book, please? If you can read 9 and 10 for us. Yeah, English? I see that you've got your English part. 9 and 10. Uh, the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not covey. And whatever other commandments, all are summed up by this. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does do wrong to a neighbor. Love, therefore, is the fulfillment of the law. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, ah. Huh? See Paul's words in, uh, in that book there, Romans chapter 13. As Auntie read, it, um, Paul actually lists and cites some of the old commandments. Mm. It says there, for the commandments, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not covet. And if there is any other commandment, all are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. He's highlighting here the importance of loving one another by using the commandments that refer to relationship between people. Because if you look, if you love, you won't commit adultery. Mm -hmm. ah. If you love, you won't murder. If you love, you won't steal from somebody because you love them. If you love, you won't bear false witness because you love that other person. It says that you will not covet if you love. And then he says, it's all summed up by this one commandment. And the one commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. And John is bringing today that loving part. Uh, what does your love look like? Do you love your neighbor? Do you love others that are part of the fellowship of the body of Christ? Praise the Lord. It's a test. If you want to stand for the truth, you have to ask yourself, what does my love for one another look like? Because the Bible clearly teaches us that love. Our 
a fai foi o ua toe se isi poloa ina, o lo ua ao fia lava ile nei upu, ia ea no vatu ile luat tua oi, ia pei o oe lava ia te oi. Fai pasfulu, e lea na lea na atu lea lofa ile na te tua oi, o le nei, o lea lofa, o le ato a toa lea, o le tu la fulu. A wā, a lofa le tanata, e le ma fai o na fasioti. A lofa le tangata, e le ma whaio na moni mau pepelu. I le isi tangata, po lana tua oi. A lofa le tangata, e le ma whaio na ngao ia mea le si o na usu. A lofa le tangata, e le ma whaio na tu ina nao. Amen? Amen. So, o le ata le ata ma whaita tata ue whaita wina, pe ao a wina me le apostolo e do ane. O vaenga u malava e faa malo si a ilo ho langa faa tua tua, pe a e tu moni mea moni, Be a e tāla ina le suafo Iesu, e a fi a ile nele e ta ua loa lofa. What does your love look like? Do you love others? So we can all put the test in our mind right now and say, Hmm, do I love others? Do I really love others? That's a very big question. That's a very good question. You know, I'm putting that test on myself. Do I love others? Do I genuinely love the stranger? On the street, do I genuinely love my neighbors that are fucking our own? Do I genuinely love my kids? Do I genuinely love that sister, that brother in the fellowship that I'm not too sure of sometimes? Ah. The Bible is saying us. The only way you're going to get stronger to defend the gospel, to share the gospel, is check what does your love look like. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's good. Does that make sense? Yeah. So remember, this is kainos. This is a new form, a new quality of love that John is trying to tell us. Let's go to verse 8. Um, can you read uh, verse 8, please, in your sound board, my dear? Verse 8, John chapter 1, verse 8. 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 In verse 8 of our text uh, today, we've read verse 7, and he said, Brethren, I write you no, no new commandment to you. In verse 8 it says, Again, a new commandment I write to you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. It almost seems like he's contradicting himself in these two verses, right? Mm. Because in verse 7 he says, I write to you no new commandment. But then we come to verse 8 and it says, again, a new commandment I write to you. Now this is really cool, wait for it. Because then it goes on and it says, again, a new commandment. Because but to understand this is where we look at the person of Jesus Christ. Because John 13, 34, Jesus says these words, A new commandment I give to you. He then says this, that you love one another, and he adds this part, as I have loved you. Amen. You know the new part of the commandment? The loving one another is still there. Yeah. The new part of the commandment is we love as Jesus loved. Amen. That's the new part. <laughs> because no one has loved like Jesus has loved. Yeah. No one gave up his life for others as yeah. Jesus loved. No one gave up his life for his friends. And that's why when Jesus was talking to the disciples in John 13, 34, he says, a new commandment I give to you. You know the loving commandment. Mm. The Old Testament teaches you to love your neighbor, love your God. And all the Jews and the disciples were saying, yes, amen. <laughs> but Jesus says, but a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, and then he adds on the addition, as I have loved you. Brothers and sisters, you know the new love, the new meaning, the old message still stands. Yeah. Love one another, yeah. love your neighbor, love the brethren. It still remains. It's a moral test. It's how you live your life, 
How do you live your life? But the second verse there, 8, when John says to us tonight, again, a new commandment I write to you is when we look at Jesus. And Jesus says, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you. Then we look at that pattern. We look at the ultimate example of Jesus Christ. And they also follow in a fold. When they say that I know fold, when they say we na ese mai ile mea mua mua, when they le fa fonga, na le fa mai le yohane na school man tolu, but if tolu school man fa fa fair na na fighta we na, or le follow in a fold, or te tu watu ya te oto, upo Yesu ile aso, na tu le tu mu le aso ile a tu tu vali, le fa mai Yesu ole a tu ina tu le omola, ole a omalo o te magiu. So let for my lewa fatu a uma ana mulu mulu vai o le au so o. I fatu Yesu, o le polo a ina forward to atu ya te o to, ia o to fe alo fani. I fa mai fa ima fa ikuna, fa mai fa a pe, o na o alo fa atu ya te o to. O se wina fau leo lo tato mata mata ile fi afi nene. Me ma sani a tato le fa ikupu lea, a lo fa le tasi le tasi ya. I have made up for you, fellow fan, for a pay on the old one of us to get to the top. But I never ain't no longer of us. I let that here my little fat eater in a year, yes. A lay must say, see a lofa, a silly low lane a lofa. Left a man in a Roma, a long time for Lima, a long time for Van. Lally we know the lofa there. For my little Roma lay Lima, a long time for Van. A wa o fa a o fa anitino ina mai ele a tua lona lava a lofa ya te tato ina o ma biu ke risu ma sui o itato a o tato o na sala ele ma ele ma fa yona fa matala ina tato o le a lofa na na o le a lofa tato le a lofa tato pe a lofa mai ah e a na le le tato pe a na le le mai le a lofa na a tato I for my little lofa there, or lofa in my ear, or me, or the lofa, or the polo in a fall. For my in a woman, you can be so much sui or it at all. I will talk to my son. Now that's the grace that we've been learning about. You know, the undeserved, ah, the undeserved favor that we get, we, get, we receive this gift that we don't deserve. This is the mercy that we're talking about, that we don't receive what we deserve. The punishment. We deserve death. But Romans 5 verse 8 says that while we were still sinners, while you and I were still sinners, while you and I were still in darkness, Christ died. So the reality of that in your mind, I don't know how we will ever understand that. We will never understand that kind of love. But that's the love that, that John is talking about today. Again, a new commandment I write to you. Which thing is true in him? Which thing is true in him and in you? The ending of that verse in verse 8, it says, Because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. If I even find out that the value of the love of God is the love of God, the love of God is the love of God, the love of God. Yo, so if I'm funny, fa a pay on the oil of fat to be at it. So, if I'm afraid, I'm afraid to be bad. Oh, money there, me a yet it. So, I thought ma yet it. Yeah, I thought ma auto. I wa olo omaba yet to the phone you. I wa popular by name, lava le ma na ma la ma money. So, I just want to talk a little bit about that that part of the verse because it says because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. So this, the new meaning that we have in regards to love is Jesus himself. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5 and 6. If we can just open our Bibles to that verse, please. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5 and 6. And here, we look at what this love looks like. And this love is actually the light of the glory of God. Second, Second Corinthians, Luol Cornito, Tarquifa, Faipuelima, and the Faithful. 
Eu não. For what we proclaim is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, with ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For God who said, Let light shine out of darkness has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Amen? Mm -hmm. You know that when we love in the new love, when we love in that in the new commandment that John is talking about, mm -hmm. that we've moved from loving, just loving one another, and that we've moved into how did Jesus love? What that looks like is what verse 5 is talking about. For we do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ our the Lord and ourselves your bondservants for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, may you be encouraged tonight in regards to that love. Uh, the old message is to love. The new message is to love as he loved us. Praise God. Amen. 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 So as we look at these four tests so far, when you stand to defend the gospel, you're able to operate in all of these four areas. Amen. That I know the Jesus of the Bible. That I know what sin means and what that teaches us in the Bible. That I am obedient to the word of God. Amen. That I love as Christ loves does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? Praise the Lord. So, by the year, follow the Talanoi Tato, by no more more. Lalo Tao, be the year, so give me so to Spahia. By no longer lua. Lalo Tao, if at a town with Yama Sala. By no longer tolu, Tato, our winner, Vasunati, and Nate, or Lucita Ia, or Lea Fiona, but Ia, Poana, or Lee, or to see a mate tone or to see Pahia. I'll buy no far. It's a lofa atu inisi. Ah, the lofa la leo no wa oina. I from my polo ina fo. Yet at all fell funny for a pay on a lofa mai o ye su kiriso ya tato. So on the man leo for the two of their tato mala malama. A wow ye moa in the malo si ana. My name I told you, the moa I felt with Tolu Muni Muni. Verse 9 through to 11 is the final part of our study tonight. And it says this, He who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. He who loves his brother abides in the light and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The final part that I want to look at today, um, in regards to love, uh, in regards to this test around, do we love one another? Do we love as Jesus loved? The final part is the contrast. Okay, when we look at verse 9, it says, He who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. Mm. Remember, the light is God. The darkness is sin. Mm. The darkness is death. Mm. Remember back in chapter 1, verse 6, it read that verse, let me just read that verse. If we say that we have fellowship with Him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice truth. The same concept here. It says there, he who says he is in the light, if I say I'm a believer, but yet I hate my brother, then I'm still in darkness. Mm -hmm. The Bible is black and white. You can't have your foot in two camps. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. It says there in uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 14 and 15, we know that we have passed from death to life. Because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother 
abides in death. 15. Whoever hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. When we look at verse 10, it says in verse 10, He who loves his brother abides in the light. Remember last week we talked about abiding in Christ? That when we abide in Christ, He is the true vine and we are the branches and we must abide in Him, be grafted to Him, be stuck to Him. Ah. This week it's abiding in the light. He who loves his brother abides in the light and there is no cause of stumbling with him. We must abide, we must remain, we must continue, we must endure in the light of Christ. Praise God. Because then it says in verse 11, But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness. And does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. So the contrast, when we're looking at the contrast here, is the contrast of he who loves his brother, is abiding in the light, is walks in Christ continues in Christ. But he who hates his brother, John goes ahead and says he's a murderer. Yeah. Mm. That's right. ah. So see how serious your love for one another is. Because yeah. sometimes we think quite lightly about it, right? Yeah. We say, oh yeah, it's okay that I don't like that person, that's alright. <laughs> you know, it's, I haven't done anything. Mm. No, no, John's challenging that mindset. He's challenging that attitude if you hate your brother, it's equal to murder. Yeah. Yeah. You're a murderer. Yeah. And who else said that? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. If you hate someone in your heart, you've murdered them. Yeah. That's the seriousness of this thing here. To love one another. Yeah. Let's 
Ile malu si ang nafata si. He put them the same. That's the seriousness for us. Yeah. Yeah. Is um is like I don't like somebody the yeah. same as hating somebody? Yeah. Absolutely. They're just two different terms, but your heart's saying the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> you might use two different references, but you, in your heart, yeah. man, who can stand that person? <laughs> right? So that's why it's important that we understand this here. And that's why when it says to love as he loved, hey, when Jesus says love one another, as I have loved you. How did Jesus love? They slapped him. They whipped him. They crucified him. And yet what he said on the cross was, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. That's the example. That's the pattern. Does that make sense? Eh? That's the seriousness of this. And that's why John says, if you hate your brother, you're not abiding in light, but you're a murderer. The seriousness, ah, uh, can we, yeah, well, we're just getting to the heart of what John is writing. The reason why is because we have to defend the gospel. There's too much at stake. There's all the false, the deceivers, the antichrist. That's what we're up against. But if we're up against that, but we're busy hating each other, mm. then we're not going to be strong enough yeah. to fight against that, right? Yeah. Does, does that make sense? Yes. yes. If we were too busy in fighting within amongst ourselves, then we we'll lost the whole point. Yeah. Mm. Right? Because mm. yeah, Paul says our warfare is not with flesh and blood. Right. Yeah. So, mm. Mm. La to te tau su wa yai. Tu tau tiele nao tangata e ita ilo na uso. O le tangata wa fatusa ile tangata e sabani le po misa. Fa mele uko fata oto, ta kwe fa, fa ipe spul male iba. O le ala o e a mio le ana e tusa lea male po misa. La to te le iloa le mea, la to te tau su wa yai. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 19, it talks there about the way of the wicked is darkness. And I'm just going to read that verse for us today. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. <laughs> then let's look at uh, 2 Corinthians. We looked at that book earlier on. Whose minds the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. This is talking about those who are in darkness. In the book of John, it's talking about he who hates his brother is in darkness. And in the book of Paul, in Corinthians, he's saying that those who are in darkness have minds that the God of this age has blinded. Mm. Not only has the God of this age blinded their eyes, but also says that so that they do not believe. Mm. See the seriousness of walking in darkness? Mm. The seriousness of hating your brother means that you're in darkness, means that you're not a believer. Mm. As simple as that. Mm. You do not have the light of the gospel. Mm. Amen? Amen. Amen. 
ua fa atau wa soina manatu o ilato o e le talito. A fai te ite lo uso, fa tu se ine yoane o tangata lo ia ine pouliu. A fa mai paulo, ua fa atau wa soina manatu o ilato o e le talito. Fa tu se ine le tangata e ite lo na uso, sabali pouliu li fa tu se ine pouliu li tangata le talito. A fai te ua o e tangata kirisiano a e te ite lo uso. Ele é o que está na tentativa. Mas nem não é o que está na tentativa. Amém? Ah. Mas nem até a mãe não lama e tato. Ona. A fai e mãe não lama e tato. Ona e loa lea o e tato. Ona sabalia lea la o e tangata fatu o tua. A wai te lei o lomu ta foi yoi. O lea lomu ta foi yoi. O lomu ta foi yoi o le tu o mau ile mea moni. O lomu ta foi yoi o le tala ina o le tala le lei. A ia ei loa ba ena ia. Ia ei loa le Yesu ke viso le tuspa ia. Ia ei loa ta la i le winga o le anga sala. Ia ei loa u si ta ia le upo le atua i loa o langa soifua. Ia ei loa lofa le i si ta nata. Ai se a, le a lau o tatu i loa. A e i te i loa uso. Tu sa le le ia oe man tangata pasio ki ta nata. E le ai mas e se e se nga i lumbo si le fanga i atua. That's clear. Right? Yeah. Absolutely clear. Amen. So, we've come to the end of our study. Three key things that we've learned today is that when we look at love, love is an old message to love one another. The test that John the Apostle wants us as believers to be able to examine is, do we have love for one another? It's an old commandment. It still pertains to you as a believer. Two, it has a new meaning. What's the new meaning? As Christ has loved us. Amen. The light that is shining in the darkness, the greatest example of love for humans, is the divine example of love found in God himself when he sent Jesus Christ. Third is the contrast. Failure to love one another is recognized as sin because darkness is sin compared to a liar and a murderer. Praise the Lord. Amen. So on that sort of negative note, we'll finish our study. <laughs> it's quite powerful, right? Uh, it's quite, it convicts all of us. Uh, the question is, you know, go through and ask those questions for yourself. You know, as you go this week, you know, when you share with someone, you know, when you share the gospel with someone, ask yourself, have I told them about the Jesus of the Bible? Have I told them about sin? Have I told them about following and keeping God's commandments? Have I told them about loving one another? Sharing the gospel is telling them about the love of Jesus Christ. What is that? That he died on the cross. That he rose again on the third day. That he now sits at the right hand of the Father. And may I encourage all of us in the room, if you are a non-believer in the room, because we don't know who believes in the room. Yeah. But if you think, I don't think I've answered yes to any of those questions, then the challenge for you is, are you a believer? Right. Then the next question would be, do you believe? Mm. Do you have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ? Ah. Mm. If you don't have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, you don't have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. A faia vea oi matangata mui mui a Yesu que eu sou. O le te talo le a tato a. E nengi a iloa e tato. O na mui mui ta i. E a malfe aula le a fia file ni. O le a lofa. I think we've heard it so many times. But I love the fact that there is a new meaning. The new meaning is that Christ himself. He was the example of love. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Time is eight fourteen. Do you have time for a couple of questions? If anyone wants to ask a question, when we share the gospel, do should we always um, mention that um, that we're sharing um, that? It's a biblical Jesus, like the word biblical. Do you believe in the biblical Jesus? Um, I think there's a, there's no 
there's no harm in saying the biblical Jesus, but there is always power in the name of Jesus, mm-hmm. right? So His name is what uh, is what we want to share. But then you're able to share the gospel message, mm-hmm. right? So the the whole intention is for you to be able to share with that individual the gospel message, and the gospel message is that Jesus died. He rose again on the third day. And the Bible says that if we put our faith in him, you shall be saved. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's the gospel message. It's the gospel message that saves. Different terms. Mm -hmm. Um, I think sharing the biblical Jesus or Jesus of the Bible, you know, it's another way of saying that. Then that could be, that could um, also allow another question. So what's the Jesus of the Bible? So I think it's, it's a good question to sort of position your conversation. It's uh, a uh, ole o la o ia tali ne fisili na ina ia o o le nga ngole tsa ngata tsa litsolo ia ia ma fai o na tsala ina le tsala le le e ala ya yesu kristo so o le tsala le le o lo ile swa fo yesu o le tsala le le o le tsala ina na maliu yesu e fa o le ina ile tsa ngata na sala na tsoe tsu mai o ia ile a so tsolo e tsu sa ma le uko le tsua so um when you share the gospel uh, when you share with an individual, your aim is to always be able to share the gospel, mm. right? Yeah. And uh, we're always nervous about it. You know, it's like me. I'm always nervous when I share the gospel. But the point is, you have to get to the part where you share the gospel. Yeah. Mm. It's not enough that we say, oh, how are you? You're doing good. Oh, you're doing great. Mm. But then you leave that conversation, yeah. but you've never shared the gospel. Mm. Right? So that's always the heart is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm. 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 Yeah? Oh, we can have conversations over food mm. as well. Tool, sorry. Did you have a question? No. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.